Hi everyone! For our family vacation this year, we chose to go to a Hilton Cancun all-inclusive resort. It is about 20 minutes from the airport, set on a secluded stretch of the Mayan coastline. This resort opened in November of 2021, so everything is brand new. It is a smaller sized resort, suitable for younger families as everything is close together and you don't have to walk very far. Here we are in the lobby and there is a snack bar right here open for breakfast, dinner, and lunch every day. And during evening time, there's often live entertainment. This resort has over 700 rooms, two infinity pools, a kids area, and a splash playground. Right outside the elevator is a little splash pad. My kids usually wake up pretty early, so we're out the door by around 9 a.m. And as you can see, it's really quiet. Checking in was really easy. When you do check in, everybody in your group gets a little bracelet that stays with you for the duration of your trip, and it is used as the key to your room. On the back of the bracelet is a QR code, which opens up a web app that you will use to make your dinner reservations. I do recommend making your dinner reservations as soon as possible for your entire trip as its spots do fill up really fast. The splash pad has four slides, uh, two of them have domes on top. It's open from 10 to 6 daily, but they usually don't turn on the water for the slides in the middle until about 10.30 every day. Continue on this boardwalk, you'll walk by one of the infinity pools and I'll lead you right down to the beach. This hotel has a very long beach line, so you won't feel crowded. But as you can see from my video, seaweed is a main concern. Um, on some days, it's not too bad, but on the other days, it's really hard to get into the water. The resort does its best to clean up the seaweed, but they only do it once per day in the morning. So if your kids like to dig up sand like mine, it's better to get there early. There are two infinity pools in total, one on either side of the hotel. The pools themselves are pretty big, but don't forget this is a hotel that houses over 700 rooms. So on nicer days, it does get very, very crowded. The resort does have a large playground inside Kids Club. You're allowed to take your kids yourself or you can drop them off during playground time and someone will watch your kids for you. Uh, Hilton Cancun has 12 unique dining experiences in 5 specialty restaurants, which includes 3 that needs reservation, uh, 1 soon and that does not require reservation, and 1 buffet. There's also an all-you-can-eat ice cream and churro shop that you can see on the screen, a couple of uh, burger and taco stands, but of course our favorite is still to dine in the specialty restaurants. We did try their room service. The service was very good and the food was excellent. But you do have a very limited menu that you can select from. The three restaurants that require reservation is Alma, which is a steakhouse, Mexel, a Mexican cuisine, and La Luz, my personal favorite, which is Mediterranean. We did see a couple of groups who showed up without a reservation, and unfortunately, they were all turned away.
The buffet is where we can get delicious food without a reservation. It isn't open for the entire day. There are specific time slots that they open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So you do have to check the time before you go. They change their menu every day and I do believe they repeat every seven days. If you do go to Alma, make sure you ask for server Markle and his special fire trick. During evening time at 8, 8.30 or 9 every day, there is a different live show for you to watch in the amphitheater. The shows are spectacular, you don't want to miss it. So make sure you check the calendar before you go. This is our first vacation in two years since the pandemic began. Uh, we stayed a total of eight nights and it wasn't enough. So we'll be doing more traveling very soon. If you are interested in watching more videos, make sure you subscribe and like this video.